this is Aditya from CISA This Much. And today we have with us Samuel Paul, who have recently cleared his CISA exam. Hi, Samuel. First of all, heartiest congratulations for your uh, uh, a, a huge success, you know, in this CISA exam. So uh, before, you know, asking uh, many questions with him, uh, hey, Sam, can you please introduce yourself and your background, you know, your experience, academic background and uh, about yourself in brief? In brief? <laughs> okay, okay, sure, sure. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, after finishing uh, 10th, uh, I have done diploma. After diploma, I had an engineering in IT. So I was really very weak in programming. So after finishing my engineering, there were uh, two options with me. Uh, one to go either with hardware and uh, hardware and networking or, or with programming. If you studied IT, so these are the two career paths which you have. So uh, uh, one of my friends suggested in 2015 that uh, go for hacking because uh, the hacking is a career which you can grow it has a, a huge career okay so uh, i uh, i uh, till now i remember that in 2015 i just searched in google uh, highest paying jobs okay so uh, in the second rank it was ethical hacking so wow uh, so uh, in ethical hacking uh, field so there is a lot of opportunity and then uh, i thought that okay uh, we can uh, earn some good chunks of money so i have uh, so um, uh, I, uh, I had a lot of interest in networking. Okay. So for ethical hacking, networking is the base. So, uh, which I was fond of. Okay. So afterwards finishing uh, my CEH, that is certified ethical hacking. After finishing my engineering, uh, I got a job in ethical hacking uh, in cyber security field. So currently my job profile is AppSec, application security testing. And then one of my friend told that if you do hacking, there is no need of programming, but I think it is false because for hacking, you need to have the overall knowledge like hardware, networking, programming, uh, then IOT, then everything. Okay. So to do hacking, for example, if a thief is there to enter a house, you should know everything. So, uh, so this is a course of cyber security. We should know A to Z. We can't uh, just tell that, no, uh, this is what I can do. No, because uh, I am currently doing source code review also the review of source code okay so uh, yeah but i'm doing good in that so yeah uh, so how i came into the uh, into this cisa uh, it's a short story like uh, i had five plus experience in uh, appsec that is application security testing uh, in pen testing so uh, i thought that okay somewhere down the line i need to go a little bit higher like uh, I can't uh, like when employ like a lower level, like a junior level, I need to step up. I need to uh, go into that managerial position. So uh, I got an opportunity. So uh, when I got hired, uh, that manager told me that uh, do CISA in, theme, uh, in three months before provision period, before three months, so that you can uh, go to, uh, uh, so that you can get a good uh, chunk of uh, money. You can uh, get a good hike. So I think within three months, not three months, but within two months, I cleared CISA. And uh, thank you, uh, Aditya, uh, because of your lectures, I cleared. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is, uh, I think, a brief intro about myself. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, actually, you have answered lots of my question, you know, in just one question. So, you know, uh, uh, last week, you know, I have got one comment on my YouTube channel that, you know, I have seen lots of your interviews with people who are from accounts background, from commerce background. And like, is CISA for a technical guy, uh, a, a, a person who is from IT background, can they, you know, do this course CISA? And, you know, I think you have answered that very well that uh you know uh, since you are an example that you know you you are you, you were never from audit background you were you were not from commerce background but you were from pure it background and you cho uh, chose this CISA. so i think you have even answered that uh, students uh, comment which i have received on my channel last week yeah yeah so okay so you are saying that okay you have uh, you know finished the entire CISA within 2 months okay i i, I know that you 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 are you're already an it guy so you know many things about the it security part and everything but uh, you know uh, like do you really think 
it was that easy for you to finish the exam in two months or like you had your own struggles like if you want to share your any struggle you know stories with all of our viewers yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. the thing is that uh, before studying sisa i just uh, searched a lot in youtube because the thing is that i think it is about uh, 500000 pages i don't know the pages of sisa review manual also so when i started studying that i was not understanding uh, understand the concepts and i was uh, but uh, basically uh, to be honest i hate reading books first of all so so how can i read 1000 pages so i was really uh, fed up um, i think I, i have read 3 to 4 pages of sisa review manual then i uh, thought that's it enough let's search in uh, youtube uh, let's see some videos uh, then only i got your videos so i buy your lectures it is about 55 to 60 hours so then i thought i will skip this sisa review manual i just watch uh, i just only watch a videos about 55 to 60 hours so the thing is that how i watched full uh, i watched a whole 60 hours video within 2 months the thing is that uh, i stay at titwala from titwala to thane it takes 1 hour and from thane station to from belapur it's a city in mumbai okay so from belapur so, uh, so, uh, guys 40, if you if you if you don't know he is talking about a place in mumbai so he is saying that he stays too far from his office and he should travel daily okay yeah please continue yeah yeah so uh, for going to hours and coming to hours it is maximum 4 hours so i just had a good opportunity by traveling in the train i just download all the lectures it is like 1 hour or 2 hours lectures i just uh, put the earphone in the train and just i listen uh, but not only listen i i, I will understand also what he is speaking what the mentor is speaking so daily i studied 4 hours in the train journey apart from that uh, sometimes i get up uh, i get up early at 5 uh, 5 am and i study for half an hour one hour two hour anything like that so yeah so i studied daily um, i think 5 to 6 hours because it was very difficult because the thing is that i know domain 5 really very well and uh, domain 4 uh, it was in my uh, engineering it and domain 3 software development life cycle it was also in my engineering but domain 1 and 2 i think it was purely commerce so it was very difficult for me to understand that business that enterprise it what is what enterprise it and eg it it was really very difficult to understand the core concept and after studying domain 1 and 2 i thought that okay fine i can start a new business i can set up a company so this is what i thought okay fine Um, yeah so domain 1 and domain 2 teached me a lot of new things about the business it changed overall uh, thought process of mine so yeah there are five domains in sisa and uh, each and every domain was really very interesting and uh, it was very special so yeah this was a journey within two months daily five to six hours i finished <laughs> yeah so guys you can understand that you know even after having experience in it and even after having this it background still he had to study for you know daily 5 hours and i think i'm i'm sure even more on weekends yeah so this is how the journey you know uh, happens and you know the success doesn't uh, you know come overnight you know you have to struggle for it you, have, you know everyone goes through a process right so coming to the next question how was your overall experience with sisa this much <laughs> yeah uh, uh i should say that without aditya this much i couldn't have been cleared sisa uh the your concept was really very awesome uh, it was into the deep from basic to intermediate to advanced level anyone can uh, listen your video or anyone can understand anyone can understand your video so it was really very uh, smooth journey for me so yeah without you i can't have been cleared sisa yeah. and uh, and i like to add one more thing uh, it was my obsession of sisa i need to clear because the thing is that uh, i had 5 plus years of experience in my field and there are lot of colleagues they know that i am going to appear for sisa so i had just 3 months to clear sisa so if i fail sisa there would be a bad image about myself okay because there was a hype uh, yeah samuel knows everything he can clear so 
uh, I would say that my career was on the line, and finally, finally, I delivered it. So, uh, yeah, every second I thought of CISA. Every second I need to clear CISA. I need to clear CISA. So that was the what you say a uh, hunger, a uh, hunger. It was there to clear CISA, and yeah, and uh, in future. Uh, I will crack more exams like uh, CISM and then finally CISSP also. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So even even uh, I I hope for the best. I don't know you you will get lots of success in the future. So this is just a start. CISA and I think you 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 have done C, uh, CH in the past. Now you have got CISA. You know next year you will do something else. And you know this is just a beginning of your journey. Okay. So coming to the next question. Okay. Uh, any tips to manage studies with full time job? I am. Uh, I know that even you are uh, doing a full time job. So as you, as I think he has already mentioned about that the uh, utilization of the traveling, you know, uh, time. But apart from that, you know, what should be? I mean, uh, you know, people uh, should do, you know, in order to utilize their, you know, daily uh, hours because everyone knows that, you know, we we know that everyone is having twenty four hours, but you know. Everyone are on the social medias and, you know, we, we uh, do uh, lots of things, you know, uh, because of which we, we waste our time, you know. So what uh, tips you want to give to these people who are also uh, doing the full-time job and they are facing difficulties studying, you know, on a daily basis? Yeah, actually, I also found really, very really difficult uh, in studies. The thing is that uh, I had just two months to clear CISA. I, uh, I have... Uh, a one-year-old baby and a wife, of course. Yeah. So I told them, go to your native place. Two months you go there. I need to study. Uh, the whole focus was on my CISA. I left my family behind. Okay. So uh, the thing is that dedicatedly, uh, uh, I have shown a lot of dedication into that study. Okay. Which I was not doing before. So uh, to clear CISA, dedication is required. Sincerity is very much required. Punctuality is required. For example, if I think that today I should uh, be able to read three to four hours uh, to read the CISA or to hear the lectures. So we should be dedicated to do that. And uh, we should trust ourselves. And uh, yeah, we should listen to ourselves. If we decide something, we should stick to that. So that's what I done. And that's what uh, the candidates should do who are appearing for CISA. Yeah. Okay. So, and uh, the next question is, you know, is detailed studying, I mean, the conceptual study, is, is it important or like, you know, is there any shortcut uh, to clear this exam? Because again, you know, this is a very common question and especially you are, you are from IT background. So like, what do you think? Like, you know, is there any shortcut to clear IT certifications or you have to understand things, you have to go logically and then, you know, you have to uh, think about giving the exam. Yeah, the thing is that by shortcut also, you can pass like by studying 1000 to 2000 questions of dumps, you can clear CISA. But the thing is that it will never benefit in your life. If you won't study logically, you can't do audit. First of all, you can't do audit in a company. So you can't crack the interview. So something like you can quickly find, okay, he has just passed it like that only. It is like by studying dumps, he passed. But no, uh, the thing is that conceptual study is very much important. So that uh, if any concept we study, we can remember a lifetime. So I believe in that conceptual study is very much important. So that the thing is that if we have a junior, so we can explain him uh, in, in a lot clear way. If uh, if we pass like uh, uh, not doing any hard work or without conceptual knowledge, if he pass, our junior will also comment on us. No, he doesn't know anything. He just passed like that only. So that is a bad image create on us. So I think conceptual study is very much important. And uh, all the candidates who are appearing for CISA should be stick to that. Yeah. Okay. So the last question, any last tip? you want to give to our viewers any last tip to our uh, to the future CISA aspirants any last tip um yeah um, study well uh, with a lot of passion passionately study it and uh, uh, when uh, while studying you should always think that today i'm going to learn something new okay so clearing CISA is easy if you do it passionate, uh, passionately 
when you do do it dedicatedly. So yeah, this is the last minute tips and uh, all the best for the future uh, CISA candidates. Okay, yeah. So thank you for joining us and thank you for sharing your experience with us. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, Aditya. Uh, because of you only, I cleared CISA and thank you to you too. Okay. <laughs>